Um, thank you all. Thank you all so much. While I am grateful for this award and what it symbolizes, I didn't do it alone. Well, you truly are an inspiration to all of us. And as we ask all the winners of this award, who had the biggest impact on your life? Wow. That's a good question. There was a time in my life when I had nothing. But if it wasn't for an exceptional act of kindness shown to me at a very low point in my life, I wouldn't be standing here today. All I wanted to do was achieve just enough so that I can be in a position to give back to others. And finally, repay back the debt that I owe to the man who changed my life. Very good. This was a surprise. I expected more from you, Josh. You know, you need to pass this class to graduate from high school. You should take this seriously. How'd you get that bruise? All right, have a nice day, everyone. Julie? Here. Josh. Has anybody seen Josh today? Um, he wasn't in homeroom. Maybe he moved. <laughs> now let's be nice. It's not my fault he's such a loner. Yeah, he's weird and kinda creepy. <laughs> what did I just say? <sighs> Mr. Perkins is better when he's not in class. He's such a freak. <laughs> Don't just sit there with that stupid look on your face. Oh, I get it. Oh, you think you're so smart than me, huh? Well, I got news for you, kiddo. <laughs> you dumber than a bag of rocks. You ain't never gonna muff to nothing. You know why? Cause you's a loser! Only thing you good for is what? Sitting in my house, eating my food? See, not only are you stupid, you're not even a real man. A real man would just sit there and take that. Unless you're a sissy. Are you a sissy? Huh? Is that what you are? You just gonna sit there with that stupid look in your face? Take it like a chump? Alright. If it's like that, get out. Get out of my house! Josh. You okay? Hey, um, I'm sorry. I should have seen the signs sooner. I should have known what you were going through. It's not your fault. It's just how life goes, so. But it doesn't have to be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Maybe, but it is. This happen a lot? Three, four times a week. I wind up on the streets until he sobers up. Then I'll apologize and he'll take me back. And this happened the night before you got a D on that test? Just look right there. You know, I was actually stopping by to bring you something. You mind waiting here? Can be back in 30 minutes? Not going anywhere. All right.
You dropped this in class yesterday. Figured you'd want it back. Um, oh, there's, there's gotta be a mistake. This is, this is my wallet, but this isn't my cash or train ticket. They're yours now. You know, no matter what your father tells you, they're not dumb. In fact, you might be the brightest student in my class. No, that's not true. It is. You know, there's nothing that you can't accomplish if you set your mind to it. You've just never had anybody in your corner that's believed in you before. Till now. It's your birthday today, right? It is. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I haven't celebrated since I was a kid. Well, you're an adult now, legally. Which means you don't have to stay here any longer. It is a chance for you to go off and start a new life for yourself. I, 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 I can't accept this. I, uh, consider it a birthday present to make up for all your past birthdays, okay? It's my entire savings. It's $10,000. No, I, I can't take your savings. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I insist. You take that money and you go make a new start for yourself. I'm without your father. Why are you doing this for me, man? Because everybody needs somebody who believes in them. <laughs> I'm gonna pay you back for this, Mr. Perkins. I swear I will. You wanna know the best way to pay me back? You go off and you create a life for yourself that's worth living. Become a successful man that I know that you are destined to be. Then we'll call it even. <laughs> Get out of here. You're gonna be late. The train gets here in an hour. Thanks again. Everything. I'm gonna make you proud one day. I know that you will. I did everything I could to live up to Mr. Perkins. I hope to return back to Los Angeles to share my successes with him, but sadly, he, um, Mr. Perkins, he, uh, he passed away before I had a chance. Well, that was a tremendously moving story. I think I, I speak for everyone in this room when I say thank you for sharing that with us. But I also think I speak for everyone in this room because we were wondering and if Mr. Perkins were here right now, what would you say to him? Uh, I would tell him uh, that his act of kindness changed not only my life, but my entire world. He showed me that no matter how dark things get, there's still good people in this world. And for someone like me who grew up only knowing pain and fear, that that I can learn that there's a light and there's kindness in this world, and that is a beautiful thing. And Mr. Perkins, he showed me that. I just wish I had a chance to tell him that myself. Well, Josh, we have someone here who might be able to help with that. Mr. Perkins? What, what? You're alive? Hi, Josh. Long time no see. I thought that you were dead. Nope. Still alive. Thank you. 
so much for everything you've done for me in the past years. All I did was believe in you. You did everything else yourself. <laughs> Our budget has been cut, which means... Which means... We can only afford to give one teacher a raise. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Now settle down, settle down. Now the teacher whose class performs best on the state literacy exam wins the raise. Oh, give me a break. Why don't you just give the raise to Simone now then? Now, Grace, what is that supposed to mean? It means she's got it a lot easier than the rest of us. Somehow she ended up with all the brainiacs in her class. Meanwhile, the collective IQ of my students doesn't even add up to double digits. You shouldn't talk about the kids that way. Uh, maybe you just need to change up your lesson plans a bit to help engage the students more. I I'm happy to help you come up with some ideas. Oh, give it a rest, Miss Goody Two-Shoes. All right, settle down. That's enough of that. This raise is anyone's to win. So let's get out there and mold those minds. Hey, I, I was serious earlier. If you feel like you're having trouble reaching your students, I'm more than happy to help with your lesson plans. Okay, don't act like you're a better teacher than me. Oh, <laughs> I never said that. Look, if my students were smarter, I'd be a shoe in for this raise. <laughs> the raise isn't what matters to me. I care about helping my students achieve as much as they possibly can while they're in my class. God, do you ever stop with this Little Miss Perfect act? <sighs> this is my dad's trail cam. Really neat, James. Why don't you tell the class what it does? My dad uses it to watch the wildlife in the woods behind our house. It's camouflaged so the animals don't see it. And it's motion activated so when a deer or coyote or squirrel or whatever goes past, it records it for us to watch later. What is the coolest animal you've seen so far? Definitely a bear. Wow. <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> wow. So cool, James. Thank you for sharing. Don't we need to be going over our math homework right now? <sighs> Nobody likes the teacher's pet, Ashley. Go back to your seat. But I need help with my multiplication. You need a lot more than that. Okay, in just a few minutes, we'll be starting our state literacy exam. So everyone, please take out your number two pencils. Ms. Green, I'm nervous. You are gonna do great, sweetie. Uh, just remember all the preparation we put into it and then trust your judgment. <sighs> all right, everybody sit down. Time for the state test. This test is a very big deal for me, okay? Now I know most of you are not the brightest of bulbs, but today I need you to, well, just be better than you normally are, okay? Great. Here's the Scantron machine to grade the state tests. Let me guess, your perfect students did just great, didn't they? We're not supposed to look, remember? It's unethical. We're just supposed to run the test through the machine, seal them back in the envelope, and send them to Sacramento. God, your whole act is so annoying. Wow, what a bunch of little morons. Just great. Thank you. 
have a good feeling about it. Okay, settle down, settle down. It's time we find out which class performed best on the literacy exams and which teacher wins the race. And the class with the highest score is Grace Lawson's fifth grade class. Wow, really? <laughs> Congratulations, Grace, you win the race. Oh, I never doubted my little ankle biters. Uh, Simone, can I have a word with you, please? What's up, boss? The only thing more surprising than Grace winning is how poorly your students did on the exams. Uh, wh wh what do you mean? Less than 3% of your kids passed. That's by far the lowest in the whole school. Uh, everything okay over here? Yeah, everything's fine. Simone's kids surprisingly underperformed on the exams. Oh, maybe you need to rethink your lesson plans. If you need any ideas, feel free to reach out. Uh, Miss Green? Surprise, surprise, you all did very well on your state test. We did? You sure did. Miss Lawson, could I have a word with you, please? Sure, what's up? I think it's probably best if we speak in the hall. So what's all this about? Well, it's come to my attention that not only did you cheat on your students' exams, but you also altered Miss Green's exams and lowered her children's scores. That's, <laughs> that's nuts, Jerry. I would never do anything like that. Then how do you explain this? Um, I, I can explain that. That's... <laughs> Officer, that, I, uh, arrest this woman. Wait, uh, arrest me? For what? When you altered those scores, it was a crime. It says so right on the envelope. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not only are you going to lose your teacher's license, but you're probably going to pay a hefty fine and maybe some jail time. What? I need you to come with me, miss. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't. Uh, no, it was her fault. She set me up. She framed me. Why on earth would I frame you, Grace? Because you wanted the raise, just like I did. I told you before, I don't care about the raise. I never did. What I do care about is ensuring my students get the best possible education so they can build successful lives for themselves. And what you did nearly robbed them of that. Give me a break, Simone. Nobody buys this goody-goody act. You're just proving you have no business being a teacher. We don't do this for the glory or the money. We do this because we care about our students. Our job as teachers is to help our students achieve as much as they possibly can. I hope someday you realize that. Get her out of here. Uh, no! No! Uh, no! When Valerie got into Yale, I wept. Oh. Knowing that my brilliant daughter would be going to a school like that, it's every mother's dream. Sure, the tuition is incredibly expensive, but I'd spend anything for my girl. What's with the shrug, Abby? Oh, nothing. It's wonderful for Valerie. You should be very proud. But, you know, spending a lot of money doesn't always guarantee success. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind Abby. She's new to the district. <laughs> she lives in uh, that apartment complex off of Elmwood. Uh, you know, it's the one right above the trailer park. You promised me you were going to get the good cake. I did. I ordered the most expensive one they had. Well, then the caterer screwed up because the one they gave us is trash. Oh, my party's ruined. Don't you worry, Peanut. I'll handle this. Hey! What is this? Congrats on Yale. Valerie, your mother is very proud of you. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Uh, you're Kelly's mom, aren't you? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, the cake situation is handled. They're gonna get you a new one from their van. Uh, did Kelly decide where she's going in the fall? Actually, she's going to community college. <gasps> oh. Community college? Uh-huh. I know you're not the wealthiest of women, but are you really gonna ruin your daughter's future just to save a few bucks? Well, I'm not ruining her Thank future. You are, Mom. I'm just saying. What's going on? Is something wrong? Nothing's wrong, Kelly. Your mother was just telling us about your plans for the fall. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Hmm. I'm surprised that a smart girl like you would be going to a community college instead of a real university. I mean, that's unusual. I got into a bunch of four-year schools, even some Ivy League ones, but after talking it over with my mom, I think it's better for me to save some money during my first two years, and that way, if I want, I can put it towards grad school later. Hmm. Your mother convinced you of that? Oh, huh. interesting. Oh, would you excuse me, ladies? I better make sure they get it right. Hey, I want to see that cake before you put it out. Casey's here. <laughs> Kelly, come on. <laughs> mm, this food is amazing, Shayna. <laughs> it better be for how pricey it was. I spent over $20,000 on this party. <laughs> but it's worth it to make my little peanut happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that face for, Abby? You don't think my daughter's worth $20,000? No, that is not at all what I meant. It's just, well, we can't predict the future, right? So I just prefer to save our money for a rainy day rather than splurge it on a party. I mean, money doesn't always last, right? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I know to a working class mother like yourself, $20,000 sounds like a lot of money. But trust me, it's nothing to someone like me. Maybe so, but um, we can't always give our children whatever they want when they want it. I mean, we have to teach our children how to work for what they want. Otherwise, we're sending them up for failure. I'm sorry, but it sounds like you're saying I'm a bad mother. No, that's not at all what I'm I saying. I don't need to sit back and take that from a trailer park mom who's sending their kid to community college just to save a few bucks. You know, where do you get off telling me how to parent my child? My daughter is going to Yale. Her future is set. Meanwhile, your community college daughter will be flipping burgers all because her mother couldn't care about her future. Okay, Kelly will be just fine. The first two years of college are mainly intro classes, you know, so that the kids can kind of figure out which career path they want to take. And once Kelly figures that out, she can transfer into a four-year school. And yes, we will be saving a bunch of money, but it'll also be an easier transition for Kelly. Sometimes college kids can kind of lose their way when they get that first taste of freedom, and I don't want that for Kelly. This plan is a win-win. A good mother doesn't care about money when it comes to their child's education. Clearly, that's not you. LA Community College is no ringy-dink school. I mean, they have terrific teachers and a superb reputation for helping their students with their academic goals. I should know, I went there myself. Oh. <laughs> of course you did! <laughs> Look where it's left you. <laughs> Maybe one day you can get a real house. <laughs> oh, it's all making sense now, isn't it, ladies? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it might be a good decision for your daughter, but... I know that community college is beneath my little peanut. <laughs> and that is okay. We're all on our own paths, and this is just the right path for my daughter and I. Hmm. Come on, Mom. I have to study for my calc test tomorrow. Study? It's summer. I know, but I'm taking some extra classes to get a head start for the fall. I'll meet you in the car. I'm just gonna say goodbye. Thank you so much for inviting me, Shayna. You're welcome. 
and good luck. <laughs> Your daughter is sure gonna need it. <laughs> That fall, Shayna helped her daughter move into her dorm at Yale. Excited to see what the future held for them. But like Abby said, the future is unpredictable. Two weeks after Shayna dropped Valerie off at college, she was fired. Instead of dedicating herself to her studies at the prestigious Ivy League school, Valerie spent her time partying and living that college life. All while her mother struggled to keep up with her mounting bills and cost of tuition. Valerie's parting was out of control. And soon, she was failing most of her classes. With no other options, Shayna was forced to sell her huge house. and move into the very same apartment complex she made fun of Abby for living in earlier. She even sold her Porsche and bought a used car just to make ends meet. Then, two years later, Shayna received an invite to Kelly's community college graduation party. Ooh, thank you all for coming. Not only did Kelly graduate with honors, she also just accepted a full scholarship to <gasps> Yale. Oh, wow. <laughs> to Kelly. To Kelly. To Kelly. Oh, that's so exciting. Congrats. <laughs> so glad you could make it, Shayna. I can't tell you how excited Kelly is to be going to Yale with Valerie. <laughs> Yeah, actually, Valerie's taking a break from school. She left Yale last year. Oh, I didn't know. She lives with me now, but she just sits around all day and doesn't even think about going back to school or getting a job. The only work that I've been able to find since I lost my job is a Lyft driver. It's been awful. I am so sorry. Well, it's all my fault. Thanks to my spending over the years, we didn't have much savings, which is why I'm living paycheck to paycheck. So, go on, gloat. Gloat? About what? You were right. You said that spending a lot of money doesn't always guarantee success. And now look at me. Come on, Mom. I want you to meet some of my friends. Keep your head up, Shayna. Things will get better. Hi. 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 This is Julia. This is my oh, nice to meet you. Hey! 
Watch it! Get out of the way, old timer! Stop it! Don't yell at him! He looks like he needs our help. Our help? What? No! No way! Sydney, come on! We don't have time for this! Matt! Look at him! He's gonna get himself hurt if we don't do something! I am looking at him, okay? All I see is an old man who's gonna make me late for class. And if I'm late, I can get the extra credit I need to pass. Think it through! Okay, well, wasn't Professor Thompson's assignment to do something selfless for others and then present the results to class? Yeah. And I'm already doing that by giving you a ride to class. Duh. Sir, excuse me? Do you need some help? Yes, I think I do. I can't seem to figure out where I was going. Oh, it's okay. Look, we can help you figure it out, but let's just get you out of the street first. Okay, you got him out of the road. Now ditch the old geezer before we're late for class. Matt, he's lost. Get out here and help us. No chance. I'm not going to be late for Thompson's class just because you want to play nurse to some geriatric. All right, last chance, Sid. You coming or not? No, I'm going to stay here with him until he's safe. Have it your way, then. Enjoy failing. I cannot believe he just left us. He is very, very rude. Yes, he is. Here, let me help you with this. And, you know, don't worry. We're gonna find out where it was you were trying to go and make sure you get there safe. Thank you. You're... You're very kind. Oh, there's a Ralph's about two blocks that way. Is that where you were shopping? Maybe we can retrace your steps. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my, my, my. Because not only on time, but early for once. Turning over a new leaf, Professor. I would have been here earlier, but I had to stop to help a lost old man. Oh, color me impressed, Matthew. Keep it up. So, while you're helping me, I thought you were in some sort of a hurry back there. It's no trouble. Besides, I've always thought that you should help those in need. I'm sure my professor will understand. Professor? <laughs> That's what I used to do for a living. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did do you used to teach at the City University? I believe I did. I believe I did. Once upon a time, anyway. Perfect, that's where I'm headed right now. How about we go there together and see if we can find someone who recognizes you? Sounds like a fine plan. Let's do it. Chris Stone? And Sydney Williams. Strange. It's not like Sydney to miss class. She's never even been late before. Does anybody know where she might be? Yeah, she ditched class today. Yeah, I remember her saying something about having more important things to do? Something like that. Huh. Well, that's a shame. She's really gonna miss out. Okay. Today, you will be presenting your projects about the impact that selfnesses has on society. A student with the best presentation will not only get extra credit, but they'll have the opportunity to lead a new program that I'm starting here on campus. One designed to spread kindness through positive, selfless acts. <clears throat> Yes, Matthew? Sorry, Professor, I'm just wondering how being assigned more work is supposed to be a reward? Surely the best presentation should be assigned less work? Well, allow me to clarify. This is a well-paid position, thanks in part to the generous donations by our esteemed alumni. In addition to a nice paycheck, this is gonna look terrific on your resume. It's certain to help the winning student get any job that they want after they graduate. So good luck. Hi. Hi. May I help you? Yes, actually. I found this gentleman wandering around lost. He said that he used to be a professor here, so I was hoping that maybe there was someone who could help identify him and get him home safe. 
Well, I don't recognize him, but I'm sure I can find someone who does. Why don't you run off to class and let me take it from here? This nice lady is going to see to it that you get home safe, okay? Thank you for all your help. The world needs more people like you. And that's why kindness and selflessness have carried over throughout the history of our species. So you see, you should always help those in need. Excellent work, Matt. You're really well done. Thank you guys all for the wonderful presentations. I can tell you all put in a lot of effort, but there can only be one winner, and I think we all know who that is. Professor, I am so sorry. Someone really, really needed my help, and I could not ignore them. Sydney, I'm gonna need a little bit more explanation than that. Okay. Well, um, I was on my way to class, and well, I saw an elderly man, and he was wandering around lost, and he was confused, and well, I was worried that he was gonna get hurt, and nobody else was stopping to help him, so I did. So you chose to help an old man instead of getting my class on time, risking failing in the process? Uh, yes, sir, I did. I mean, I knew that I was gonna be late to class if I stopped to help, but I could not leave him there like that, not with how scared and confused he was. Okay, well, do you have your presentation ready? Yes. Uh, well, I must have left it somewhere. Um... Professor, this is ridiculous. Okay, not only did she make up some story about an imaginary elderly man, but she clearly didn't even prepare for her presentation. Matt, no, you know that it's true. You were there and you left me to deal with him by myself. <laughs> now she's just making stuff up. <laughs> That's enough. I'm sorry, Sydney, but this is, this is all just a little bit hard to believe if you don't have your presentation. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to... Uh, excuse me, Professor Thompson. I'm sorry to interrupt, but... You have a visitor. Well, Dad? I was gonna cook your favorite dinner tonight, but uh, we we're out of onions, so I... Dad, we've been over this. You know you're not supposed to go out by yourself. I know, I know, but uh, I got lost, and then I couldn't remember where I was going, and, uh, or, hey, you know, it could have been a lot worse had it not been for this young lady's help over here. <laughs> Thank you for helping my father, Sydney. I, I should have known better than to not believe your story. What you did for my father is exactly the essence of this new program that I'm starting. New program? You risked failing my class to, to help a stranger in need, not for personal gain, but because you knew it was right. And for that, I commend you for your selflessness. And with that in mind, I think that I've made my selection. Well, sir, sir, think about this for a minute, okay? How can you trust someone to do the job well when they chose to be late? Arriving on time while important is not the only thing. What Sydney chose to do is exactly what I'm trying to get all of you guys to do with this assignment, is to help someone in need even when it doesn't benefit you at all. But you and the class, you loved my presentation. Surely that deserves the extra credit you mentioned earlier. And would this presentation happen to end with the line, so you see you should always help others in need? How did you know that? Because, sir, that was my essay. I must have left it in Matt's car, and I guess he decided to pass it off as his own. Matthew, is that true? Um, I can explain, okay? So, so it's you. You were the one, called me an old geezer, and then drove off, leaving poor Sydney behind. Oh, he did, did he? I know this looks bad, but I really need that extra credit. 
Well, you should have thought about that before you acted so selfishly. You can forget about that extra credit or about passing this class for that matter. And now it is my pleasure toward the extra credit and the job to Sydney Williams. Is the job exactly? Trust me, you're gonna love it and you'll be great at it. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> Look on your guys' faces. <laughs> Please. I, I wasn't even that scared. Ah! <laughs> Blake! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, but that was too good. We should have recorded that. Oh, no. <laughs> Great, now there's two of you. Frank, haven't you learned that your actions will always find a way back to you? Yeah. I thought you quit doing pranks the last time you got caught. Let's uh, call it more of a uh, short break. Look, okay, Halloween's coming up. We have to have a little bit of fun, right? <laughs> we can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go again. <sighs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Wait, 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 what about them? Don't they know it's a prank? Yeah, it's okay. Looks like they're leaving. Uh, uh is that my cookie? Uh, I don't know. Is it? I can't believe this. You're eating my cookie. Look, it's just a cookie, man. Here, my bad. You, you get out the back. No, you've already bitten into it. I can't believe this! You're always eating my food! Blake... Calm down, all right? It, it's just the cookie, man, my bad. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm sick of you always taking my stuff. Hey, Blake, do not push Frank like that. I gotta teach him a lesson because he keeps- Don't you ever push me like that again! Frank, don't do that! You messed up big oh, time, did I? buddy! Oh, did I? I tried to be nice, but you left me with no choice. Okay, then bring it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it right now! Try to get the principal! Oh my gosh! Frank, are you okay? Oh! What in the world? You know what? Try to stay calm and I'm gonna get some help. Okay. Nurse! What were you two thinking? It's gonna be okay, all right, Frank? Just hang in there. Help is on the way, okay? Hey, I, I'm so sorry, man. I... You put a fork in my tongue. I can't believe you. Uh, you asked for it. <laughs> what are you talking about? He didn't ask for it. Yes, he did. After he ate the cookie, he said, put the fork in me. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> We got, got you, you. big on Frank. <laughs> that is not funny. Yeah. You should have seen the look on all your faces. Oh. You almost gave me a heart attack. You know that? Wait, <laughs> what's going on? Let's just say Frank the prankster is back. Boy. <laughs> so this was all a... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Melinda. False alarm. Oh my god, we got it so good. And this next one's gonna be even better. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. Let's get it. Did you hear about what Frank and Blake did in the lunchroom today? Yeah. I can't believe those guys. Hey guys. How's it going? Leave us alone. We're not gonna fall for one of your dumb scare pranks again. Oh, I know. And that's why we're not after you. Ashley, don't freak out, but there's a- ah! No, wait, don't worry, it's over, no! Ah! Oh, 
Kayla, just hold on. It's it's not real. Oh my gosh. I freaked out. I thought it was real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we got you! You should have seen the look on your face. It was oh Bryce. You guys are so lame! Seriously, grow up! <laughs> We're three for three! Three for three! <laughs> Dude, this is so much more fun with a partner in crime, hey, man. Just wait until tomorrow. Uh, absolutely. Uh, let's roll. Later, suckers. <laughs> Later. Ashley, wait. Don't tell me. Frank and Blake strike again. And this time they got Ashley. We really gotta teach those guys a lesson. Tomorrow's Halloween, they probably have something even bigger planned. We gotta stop them. Yeah, but how? I don't know, but there's gotta be a way. They're gonna give somebody a... That's it. What's it? I figured it out. We're gonna... I have to go. I'll explain later, but we're gonna get those guys back. Okay. Are you sure our plan's gonna work? I mean, who knows what they're gonna pull. I guess we're about to find out. Hello, class. We're gonna watch a movie today. Um, excuse me, Miss J, can I use the restroom? Sure, like... Hey, Ashley, watch out for snakes. <laughs> Very funny, Blake. All right, got five seconds left and we're down by two. All we need is a three-pointer. What should we do, Coach Brown? No signs of what they're doing yet. I'm be sure any second they're gonna... Games in your hands, son. Hmm. That's odd. I don't know what happened. It won't turn back on. I don't know if it's... <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! That was really scary. Isn't that the girl that climbs out of the TV? I think so. I heard she's real. Yeah, I saw on TikTok there were these boys in Iowa that got murdered by her. Wait, are you serious? Okay, calm down. Let's not get carried away here. No, it's true. I saw it too. Supposedly, the last thing the boys saw was the girl's face. And then the lights went out. And... Ah! What is going on today? <sighs> maybe the power went out. Or maybe... It's a ghost. <sighs> that is real funny, Frank. You wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you? No, ma'am. Okay, well, there is no need for anyone to freak out until we can... What was that? Maybe the wind or something. That didn't sound like the wind to me. I think it's coming from that window over there. See, I told you, there is nothing to worry about. There she is! Psych! <laughs> we got you guys! <laughs> that was so good, we got everyone. <laughs> This is Jay? <laughs> I think she had a heart attack. We need an ambulance, now. I'll go get the principal. No, 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 don't do that. Uh, Mrs. Jay? Is everything all right? It was uh, all just a joke. Can you please get up now? I don't feel her pulse. Miss J, Miss J, please, please wake up. Okay, we were just kidding. An ambulance is already on its way. You guys won't believe it, but she got hit by a car. What? No. No. 
You guys go check up on her, okay? We'll stay back with Mrs. J. Ashley, stay with us. Please stay with us. The ambulance is almost here. No, I'm so sorry. She came from out of nowhere. Ashley! Ashley, are you okay? Oh, no. Ashley, please talk to us. What happened? I didn't see her. She was running so fast. It was like she saw a ghost or something. Oh, no. Not Mrs. J, too. Barbara, please, say something. Barbara! Please, please, please wake up, Miss J. It looks like she's moving a little. I... We, we can hear you. What'd you say? This was all a prank? Uh-huh. <laughs> but what about the EMT workers? And the driver? These are just our Halloween costumes. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you guys fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Erica's aunt. When she told me she had this idea, I just couldn't say no. <laughs> that wasn't funny, guys. Yeah, you guys shouldn't mess around like that. Well, hopefully you guys have learned that your actions always have a way of coming back to you. And most importantly, don't ever prank a prankster. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go back and finish that movie, guys. <laughs> If each slice of pizza costs $1.20, how much does the entire pizza cost if there are four slices? Uh, Mara. Um, five dollars? Uh, close, uh, the answer is, is- $4.80, that's so easy. How'd you not get that and you think it should be on my team? Annie, let's be nice now. We are all here to learn. All right, let's try another one. Who can tell me what 16 plus 21 is? It's 37. Annie, please, raise your hand. Why? It's a waste of my time waiting for these dummies to catch up. Hey, that's enough. This is your final warning. All right, let's make it a little more difficult. All right, Gigi, Sam, and Alex, why don't you come up to the board 75.51, and... 3 fourths, and 347. You and the other teacher might as well just hand me over the trophy for the math bowl. First off, please, remember to raise your hand. Secondly, you know each class has to submit three students, so you'd be sharing that trophy. I don't need a team. Everyone knows I'm the smartest kid in fourth grade. I'll win it by myself. If you're so smart, What's 57 plus 60 plus 91? 208. 18 times 3. Oh, 54. Uh, 3,456 times 23. 79,488. That's... Correct! I know now, if you don't mind, I went out of this class, because I'm clearly surrounded by people not my level. Thank you for meeting with me. Of course. I'm always happy to talk about how brilliant my little genius is. Actually, I wanted to discuss something else. I'm really concerned about your daughter's behavior. She's been demeaning towards other students, and it's harming their learning experience. Well, can you blame her? I'm sorry? I'm saying it's not Annie's fault that she's light years ahead of her peers. If anything, she should be receiving some sort of special treatment for how advanced she is. I think you're missing the point. I don't think I am. 
Annie is an extraordinary child, and you should be finding ways to reward her, not discipline her. Uh, yes, she's very smart, but she can't continue to disrespect other students and, and talk without raising her hands. If you could help me with... Help you what? Help you do your job? I'm sorry, but this meeting is a waste of my time. Just like being in your classroom is a waste of Annie's time. Have a good day. I can't wait for my birthday party. It's so fun. Hey, wanna come to my birthday party? Okay, stop, like I'd say. Yeah, I'm so, look. All right, class, all finished? Switch quizzes with your neighbors and pick up your red pens. Don't bother checking mine. I already know I got 100% of the questions right. Question one, the correct answer is A. Question two, the correct answer is C. Question three, the correct answer is... Mara, is your brain broken? You got most of this quiz wrong. You don't have to be so rude. I'm not being rude, Gigi. I'm being honest. It's not my fault she's dumb. Annie! If the shoe fits, wear it. These questions are so simple. This isn't even worth giving back to you. What the heck? What? I'm putting where your work belongs. In the trash. That's enough. Principal's office, now. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. Beats me in the class. I mean, this girl is just impossible. I, I don't even know what to do. Have you tried telling her mom about it? Yeah, and she is absolutely no help. Honestly, I think she's part of the problem. If only there was someone in her class that was smarter than her. What would that do? Well, it would give her a taste of her own medicine. Then maybe she would know what it feels like for someone to make her feel dumb. Uh -huh. Yes, girl. Class, we have a new student joining us. This is Malik Foster. He just transferred from a private school. Let's all give him a warm welcome. Welcome to Bookside Middle. Hi, Malik. Welcome to the class. Why don't you take a seat next to Annie? Everyone, clear your desks. It's time for a multiplication quiz. You know the drill, first one to complete it and to answer all the questions correctly, we'll get a prize from the candy jar. Now, our current record is held by Annie at 20.57 seconds. Let's see if anyone can beat it. Unlikely. On your mark, get set, go. Done. What? Uh, there's no way. Wow. Great job, Malik. These are all... Correct. We have a new record of 10 seconds, which is half the time of Annie's. Which means I'm twice as smart as her. By the way, 10 seconds is actually pretty slow for me. Your so-called record is pretty pathetic. So, the math bowl is just around the corner, which means we need to select our team, starting with the team leader. Who's interested in- Me! I'm obviously the perfect pick for the team leader. I'd like to be considered as well. After all, I did just break a record. No, team leader's supposed to be my thing. I know, 
Why don't we do a mock math bowl to see who the team leader will be for the class? How about we add some algebra to it, just to make it a little more challenging? A algebra? But you don't learn that until like eighth grade. Exactly. Or we can add trigonometry, statistics, calculus. Uh, that's okay. Algebra's fine. Great. Next class, we'll choose the team leader for the math bowl. Next question. Solve for x in the equation 2x plus 5 equals 30. Um, 10. Eh, wrong. 12.5. That is correct. Let's go, Malik. Let's go. You're making this Let's too go, easy Malik. on me, Let's Anna. Go. It's Annie. <laughs> this question is worth two points. What is 3x plus 5 equals 2x plus 10? Five. That is correct. Let's go, Malik. What, you can't keep up? I thought you were the smartest kid in school. I am. Were. Guess you don't know grammar either. Ooh. Annie, listen. Just leave me alone. You're this upset that you lost, huh? Look, uh, about Malik. It's not about him. It's about my mom. What does she have to do with anything? You don't understand how she's going to react when I tell her I lost. And that I'm not team captain for the math school. She's going to be really, really mad at me. She is? Does she get mad at you often? All the time. You see? Ever since I can remember, my mom has always been very competitive. She wanted me to be the best at everything. Ready, set, go. Come on, Annie, that's not fast enough. You're not going to win the competition. Come well, on, let's try it again. You've got to do faster. Okay? Ready? Go. She made me practice a lot, and not just school. Everything had to be a competition. Dad, look! Yeah, how you doing? I got a 99. 100%! What do you want to do today? 100 gets ice, ice cream. Come right. on, let's go. But as I went more, my friends started to avoid playing with me. Hey. You're just sad because you win a lot. And that's super, super great. I'm proud of you. So you see, she's going to be really mad when she finds out Malik beat me and that I'm not team captain. Look, I have a confession to make. Malik already had the answers to all the problems. You mean he cheated? I mean, I gave them to him. Why? I didn't mean for you to be this hurt, and I'm sorry for that. I just wanted you to see what you've been putting all the students through every day. But now that I understand your story, I realize it's not your fault. Annie, I'm not sure if your mom has ever told you this, but life isn't about winning or losing. The journey is just as important as the destination. But my mom always told me if I'm not first place, I'm nothing in life. Well, what good is first place if you're not even happy? Or if no one likes me. Uh, 
55. That is correct. Well, looks like we have a tie. That means this next question will determine which team wins. I need you to choose one player to answer the final question. You should go in. Yeah, it has to be you. All right. Actually, Mara, why don't you go? What? No, what if we lose? Don't worry, you're gonna crush it. Just remember what we've been practicing. All right, looks like we have Mara and Harrison to answer the final question, which is, if each slice of pizza costs 125, how much does the entire pizza cost if they're four slices? $4.80? That is incorrect. Is it $5? That is correct. Congratulations. Hey, great job, kids. You really did mm -hmm. an amazing... Annie, what were you thinking? That should have been you up there, not some other girl. You just let the boys win the competition. That's okay, Mom. As Miss Michaels helped me realize, it's not about winning or losing. The journey is just as important as the destination. You're the one filling my daughter's head with this garbage? I knew I should have had her moved out of your class. Please, explain to me, what is so great about losing? Um, Annie, thanks for letting me go up and do the math ball. Yeah. If you're free this weekend, want to come to my birthday party? Actually, I can't remember the last time I've been invited to a birthday. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, but we still have more players than you. I may be true, but I'm still undefeated. You're out. Ricky, you're out. Hey, coach. Is it all right if I play? I mean, this used to be my favorite thing to do. Yeah, of course. Why don't you uh, join that team there? Great, thank you. What in the world? Hey, aren't you a little old to be here? Oh, yeah? Well, I may be old, but I still got the juice. <sighs> What's wrong, Elliot? You're not scared of your science teacher beating you, are you? No, more so hurting you. Oh yeah? Let me see what you got, kiddo. Oh! See, I just don't understand how he can just come in the middle of the game. Ow! Better luck next time. That wasn't fair. I'm talking to you. I wasn't looking at you. You should have been paying attention then. You're up. I hate you. He's just trying to have fun. Yeah, well, maybe he should play bingo, like what other old people do. God, it's not just that. He's also failing me in science. Just asking for help. I was getting C's on all my tests, but then he offered to tutor me during lunch. I'm pretty sure I'm getting at least an A, B, which would be having bad grades if he didn't make his test so hard in the first place. Surprise, he hasn't quit, man. Why isn't he in an old folks home or something? Yeah, well, you can't do anything about that. Or can I? Watch this. What are you doing? i to put him in early retirement. Oh. No, stop! Oh. 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 Hey. I'm better like next time! Oh. You hurt Mr. Jasper. No, 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 it's, it's all right. It's just a little friendly fire. Sure. I'll see you in class, kiddos. <laughs> see ya. You sure you're gonna be all right? You don't think this old man can take a little hit? Just let me know next time you play dodgeball and I'll get my revenge. All right. What were you doing? I unplugged the batteries from the remote. Then I connected my phone to the TV. Mr. Jasper won't be able to do a thing. All right. Thanks for your patience, kiddos. I have got your test scores right here. Everyone come up and get them. Single file, one by one. So, I what are you going to play? I don't want to spoil the surprise.
Great job. Thank you. Nice job yes. as well. Hey, Mr. Jasper. How's the back? It's better. Thanks. Here's your test. See? Dude, this is ridiculous. I actually graded on the curve. I wanted to make sure you didn't get an F. My mom's gonna kill me. I can't have a C. You know, it might help if you come steady with me at lunchtime or sit in front of the class. You think I'm a nerd or something? I'm not sitting at the front of the class. Elliot, what I'm saying is if you apply yourself, I will give you some extra credit. I don't even understand why I still teach. Okay, class. Today, we are going to be watching a video on cold-blooded creatures such as snakes. Now, snakes evolved almost 130 million years ago. You mean when you were our age? <laughs> well, actually, Elliot, I think I might be even older than snakes. Hmm. Okay. How about we get this video on the road, shall we? What's wrong with the remote? I, I... Where's my money? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I just gonna no, I did not put this. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hope Mr. Jasper's okay. It's like he got really hurt yesterday. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that, Elliot. Come on, it's just a part of the plan. Plus, if Mr. Jasper's not gonna quit on his own, you gotta make him. That's why I got this. Today. No, don't prank him. Because what if we get an even worse teacher? My mom always tells me appreciate what you have because one day you may miss it when it's gone. Come on, my mom's been trying to tell me what to do my entire life. I haven't listened once. Look where it's gotten me. Uh, being a failing student and always on the borderline of suspension, I'm pretty sure that's where it's gotten you. All right, whatever, man. Let's just go prank Mr. Jasper. <sighs> Yo, what's taking him so long? I don't know. Maybe my prank works in or not. Principal Myers, hello. Good morning, class. I have some bad news regarding your teacher, Mr. Jasper. Oh, he didn't quit, did he? Oh, I'd be so sad. Well, I don't know what the future holds, but let's just say things aren't looking good right now, so He'll be taking some time off. I guess we don't have a teacher. Maybe if we watch movies every class, we'll be fine, but it's really sad. Nice try, Elliot. You will have a new temporary substitute. <sighs> a damn hut! That means stand at attention, soldiers. We'll work on that. Students, this is Mr. Smiley. He'll be your new teacher. Bet he's never smiled a day in his life. I heard that. I got my eyes on you, son. Okay. Don't worry, General, I'll whip these kids into shape. I studied science back in ROTC. They're in good hands. Listen closely and listen carefully. Because I'm not going to repeat myself. There'd be no back talking, no gum chewing, no note passing, and no notes picking. I'm not only a teacher, but I'm your drill sergeant. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Good. Oh, I hate snakes. But the only thing that scares me. Remember back in the reserve, I used to have my men cut their heads off and we would find them. Let's get started. Ellie, what about the prank? Shoot. Uh, there's a smiley, no! Did you 
you have something to do with this? No. Dude, why are you trying to stop me? I hate lies. I should tear against spies for breakfast. Last chance. Did you have something to do with this? Yes, but it wasn't for you. Ah! Now. 100 push-ups. Then we're switching the planks. Let this be a lesson for anyone who thinks they can get it over on me. Take out your science books. Mr. Jasper was so much better than Mr. Smiley. Thanks a lot. I mean, I'd rather do 20 push-ups than be stuck with that guy, so... Hey, Elliot. Mm. Ready to get your butt handed to you again? You wish. Where are the balls at? I don't know. All right, kids, change of plans. No more dodgeball. See, I met somebody in the teacher's lounge today. He gave me a better idea. What idea? What are you talking about? Attend the bet. You, Private Alvarez, give me 10 laps. You're not my gym teacher. You can't tell me what to do. Would you make that 25 laps for everyone? Coach? You better get moving before he makes it 50. Thanks a lot, Elliot. Who's I supposed to know he's that strict? Hey, uh, did I screw him in the hook? Yeah, you did. Oh. Dude, you had to have something to think Mr. Jackson. He'd still be here. You made him quit. Yeah, but maybe if I bring Mr. Smiley, he might want to quit too. Or he's going to make you run loud and do push-ups for the rest of your life. Let's keep it moving. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. Disobey me, run lap to your own. Disobey me, run lap to your own. Guys, 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 I figured it out. Great. Anytime you had that look on your face, things are about to go really, really wrong. No. I found out a way to get rid of G.I. Joe for good. What's your plan that's destined to go wrong this time? Okay, so you remember what Mr. Smiley hates and what scares him the most, right? Snakes? Ah. Got this snake. I'm gonna put it in his book, and then he'll be so terrified he'll leave for good. Or he's gonna retaliate worse than ever before. Remind me why we're still friends with him. I don't no, know. don't you believe me? This'll work. I'll put it in his book, it'll. Woo! No, it'll be scared! No, it'll work! It'll, it'll work! After reviewing your test scores, I'm highly disappointed in some of you. Well, at least one of you. Come on. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. Can I talk to you for a second, please? You got 30 seconds. I can't get an F. My mom is gonna kill me. She just took away my PlayStation and she also just gave me back my tablet and I know she's gonna take it away if I get this F. So, can you like, curve the grade? Absolutely not! Can you study with me at lunch? Why would I waste my lunch with you? It's bad enough the hour we're spending together already. Maybe you ain't sitting in the back of class, you would actually learn something. That's it. Everyone, gather your belongings. I'm rearranging the class. If you have an A and B, to the back of the class. The fronts are for my C's and D's. And if you have an F, right here. No, please, come on. Nice going, Elliot. Double time! Uh. Waste enough time already. Everyone take out your sign books and turn them. Snake! 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 It's trying to attack me! Somebody help me, Snake! Snake! Why, you little? It was a joke! Calm down, it was a joke. Just wait until the class ends, boy. Back in the service, we have a way of dealing with troublemakers like you. I'll make the detention look like I'm walking around. It was a prank! Hi, kids. I have good news. Mm -hmm. A certain someone wanted to come by and say hello. Uh, he recovered sooner than expected, so please welcome back Mr. Jasper. Hey, kiddos. Sorry, I meant to tell you sooner. 
Can you please come with me? Kid Elliot. <laughs> he has to pay. Oh, maybe you can tell me what happened in the hallway, and I can talk to his mother about it. We appreciate all of your help. <laughs> well, I knew everyone else would be happy, but I was not expecting this coming from you. I, mean, I thought you'd be happy I wasn't your teacher anymore. Yeah, well, that was before I realized you should appreciate what you have, because you may miss it one day when it's gone. I don't know who this new Elliot is, but I must say, I like him a lot better. <laughs> Guys, have you switched out your seats? Yeah, can we go back to our old seats? Absolutely, come on, let's get him back. Hey, Mr. Jasper, uh, could I still sit at the front of the class? And also, uh, your offer that you were gonna tutor me during lunch, is that still on the table? Guys, I'd like to take you up on it. Of course, I, mean, I would love to spend my lunch time with you helping you with your studies. Thank you, yeah, okay. All right. Let's get back to some science. So, did you ever get your tablet back? No, not yet, but I have a feeling when my mom... I, mom, look, look! Wow, you got an A! Yeah. Are you sure you didn't cheat? No, I studied with Mr. Jasper at lunch. It was actually kind of fun. Well, if that's true, because I never know with you, I would say I'm proud of you. Good, yeah, thanks, uh, great. Uh, does that mean I get my tablet and my PS5 back, or? I would say yes, except... Principal Myers told me about your little prank on your substitute. How could you? Okay, first, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean to, it was an accident. You're and definitely I, 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 not getting I, 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 your PS5 or tablet back for a long time. You're sorry. lucky if I even let you go. Ah! Oh, let's no. go, right now. No, no, let's go. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. Four times five. We have four groups of five. If we just count up the dots. <sighs> Carson, can you direct your attention to the lesson, please? Carson, put your phone away, please. Thank you. This is gonna be on the standardized test and it's gonna cover all this. Okay, so I need you to pay attention. Fine. Hey, Blair, where's your textbook? Oh, um, my mom hasn't been able to buy me one. She said money's too tight. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you mind sharing with the Maya for today? Okay, so, similarly, if we do five times four, we have five groups of four. We add it up, it's gonna be the same thing, right? 20. Hey, okay. can you stop moving around so much? It's really distracting. Shut up. Now, I'm trying to listen to Mrs. Here. Michaels teach. We just, Thank uh, you. Hey guys, everything okay? No, Carson just told me to shut up. I'm not doing anything wrong. Come She's on. the one that's bothering me. Carson, why don't you move to Brad's desk for today since he's out? You look fine. Okay, so we count up the dots and we have 20. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be the same thing. Carson. Carson. What? Why is everyone staring at me? Can you please wait to use a pencil sharpener after the lesson? If you need a pencil, you can use one from my desk. What is this? To pick on Carson Day? Oh, God. Okay, now back to it. Like I was saying. Dude, now, such a weirdo. Parentheses here. Do you ever stop and moving? Parentheses. Here. Leave me alone. We're gonna go I'm with trying to one. concentrate. We've Leave me alone. I'm just trying to concentrate. Then we're I gonna said, do... shut up! 
Okay, guys, I have your homework graded for you. All right, go ahead and collect it on your way out. Don't forget to inform your parents about our fundraiser for school supplies, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go, nice job. Go on. There you go, nice job. Carson, do you mind if I speak to you for a second? Hi. I didn't do anything wrong. The other kids were bothering me. Okay, well, if you're having a problem with someone, then you need to let me know, okay? That doesn't give you an excuse to tell Greg to shut up. And your grades aren't doing so well. If you need any help or anything like that, we can tutor during lunch or after class. Whatever you need, I'm here for you. Can I go now? Yes, you may. See you tomorrow, Carson. Let go of Greg right now. What? You call me a weirdo. I hate this. Miss Jacobs, your son has been very disruptive during class. He hasn't been getting along with the other students, and I often find him not paying attention during the lesson. Well, it's not my fault your lessons are so boring. Sweetheart, why don't you wait out in the hallway until Mrs. Michaels and I are done talking? Mrs. Jacobs, I work with a lot of students, and I think your son might have ADHD. What my son has is a teacher who's not doing her job. Ex excuse me? I'm sorry, um, Ms. Jacobs, I know it might be difficult to hear that your son possibly has a learning disability. <laughs> oh, he has no such thing. I'm just saying it's a possibility. <sighs> Mrs. Michaels, my friends at the country club told me that I should put Carson into private school, but I didn't want him to grow up privileged. I can't help but think that I should have listened to them. It's teachers like you that give public school a bad name. Now do your job right, or I'll simply find someone else who can. You know what's almost meant, hey. Sorry, I lost track of time. You should come to bed. I will. Just making a personalized plan for one of my students. That's sweet. You, you care for these kids as if they were your own children. <laughs> What's this about? I was going to talk to you about that. So, we haven't raised enough money yet for the school fundraiser, so I was thinking about just covering the difference. Well, honey, you barely get paid enough as it is. I know. But it's for the students. Some of them don't even have textbooks. Let me, um, let me just finish up here before I get too tired, and I will be in bed soon, I promise. All right. Good morning. Hey, Carson. Got a present for you. What's this? It's a fidget spinner. I know you have a hard time staying still in class, so I thought that might help. Uh, okay. Also, if you need any extra time or anything like that on the test, just let me know. Okay, nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay, guys, are we ready? Yeah? Before we get started, does anyone have to use the restroom? Because once we start the test, can't leave. Speak now, forever hold your peace. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Besides a pencil, clear your desks, please. Test, face down until we start. Five, five. back, thank you. Face down, face down, face down. Okay, you guys may begin. Everything okay? Can I use the whole pest? I already told everyone once the test starts, you can't get out of class. But I need a drink of water. I can get you a water bottle for my No, test. I just, I need to grab a quick drink from the fountain. Please, I'll be real quick. Carson, you're distracting the other students. Just I'm stay off of it, because I'm going anyways. Eyes on your test, guys. Hey, are you still working? Yeah, I'll be out of here soon though. Let me guess, having trouble with Carson. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna fail this kid, but it doesn't seem like anything I've been doing is working, so. Well, if anyone can figure it out, it's definitely you. You're the hardest working teacher here. Thanks. Get home safe. You too, hang in there. See you tomorrow. See <laughs> Jacobs, hi. How can I help you? A C minus? Are you kidding me? I know it doesn't seem like it, but this is actually an improvement. Look, I've been doing everything I can, and I know you don't want to hear it, but Carson has some behavioral issues, and he's having a hard time focusing. And focus. Focus. How do you expect him to focus when you keep giving him toys to play with? that's actually known to help kids concentrate. I've been trying different things before the standardized test because if he wants to pass, then he needs- A new teacher. I've already spoken to the principal. We're pulling Carson from your class. Why would you do that? Because I've seen the way you've been treating my son. And I'm not going to stand for it. You're not qualified to be a teacher. My son deserves better. I don't think you understand how hard I've been trying. If you pull him from me now, then... What? Never mind. Go ahead, finish it. What were you going to say? All I'm saying is that sometimes people don't appreciate what they have until it's gone. Yeah, exactly. Maybe if you would have appreciated Carson and actually cared about him, we wouldn't be in this situation. Good day, Mrs. Michaels. Miss Michaels can't believe what just happened. After all the hard work she's put in to help Carson, she's heartbroken that his mom would pull him from her class and blame her for everything. The next week, Carson is excited to start with the new teacher. That is, until he learns that not everyone's as patient and understanding as Miss Michaels is. Not only does he constantly get into trouble, but he also doesn't get the support that he needs. When he reaches out for extra help, he quickly discovers that not everyone is as willing to help him as his last teacher. A few weeks later, Carson brings home one of his tests. His mom is shocked to see that he's doing much worse under his new teacher. She starts to realize that she may have made a mistake by switching him. All right, problem number four. So what's the first thing we need to do? Find a common denominator, right? Before we add up the total, 
Luckily on this one, we already have a common denominator. So, uh, guys, give me one second. I'll be right back. Keep working on your fractions, okay? Hi, everything okay? Carson, shouldn't you be in class? Yes. That's what I came to talk to you about. He should be in your class. But I thought... I am so sorry for everything I said, Mrs. Michaels. And you are right. You really don't appreciate what you have until it's gone. So I was wondering if you could please let Carson back into your class. Unfortunately, that's not my decision. Oh, I've already spoken to the principal. I'm not talking about him either. Carson, do you want to come back into my class? Yes. I miss having you as my teacher. OK, well, what are you waiting for? <sighs> Get on in there. <laughs> By the way, he said that fidget spinner really does help him. So thank you. You're welcome. Mom! Look! What? What is it? I almost got an A! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> oh, Alfred, did you drop off the check? Yes, I did, ma'am. Sure, thank you. Special delivery. Is this for the... For the school fundraiser. You don't have to use your personal funds anymore. I'm going to get you. Do it. You suck, bro. <gasps> That's not fair. I'm out of ammo. Sus. Or am I? That really sucks, bro. Like, it's sad how bad you are, but no, what, you'll get better. What do you think my mom's doing talking to Mr. Gladwell? Is it about your report card? Nah. I already got grounded for that last weekend. Mm, she's being really friendly. I know what's going on here. My sister told me that Mr. Gladwell and his girlfriend broke up recently. So? Come on, it's been like, what, a year since your parents split? Do the math. They're dating! Oh, gross! No way! They are! This is my mom. Why would she want to date anyone? Especially my teacher. She has everything she needs. She has me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said when my dad found someone after my mom died. What do you do? I put ants in her coffee. But, okay, I know it's bad, but... If anyone asks, I plead the fifth. Do you really think my mom wants to date Mr. Gladwell? Only one way to find out. Oh, I know. But it's such a relief to talk to somebody who gets it. Mm -hmm. There you boys are. Yeah, can we go now? Sure. Oh, I need to take Hunter to his dad before I get home. But I'll see you on Saturday at Giuliani's then? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen. Jackson, is that yours? Yes. Um, so what's Saturday? You know that's a macaroni and cheese night. Yeah, don't worry. I'll be back to make it for you. I'm just gonna go hang out with Mr. Gladwell for a little bit, okay? Come on, get in the car. This is it. This is war. Excuse me. Allie? Wow. You look great. It's not too much. I mean, I bought this just for this, and well... I wasn't sure. <laughs> Not at all. It's perfect. Thanks. And thank you for watching Jackson for a bit. Uh, you're a lifesaver. Of course. Have fun. I'm sure everything will go great. All right. Um, I will be back in a bit. You be good, OK? Mm. All right, kiddos. I got a Zoom meeting, and it'll be a while. But 
If in case you need anything, just ask. Um, never mind. I was thinking I would order the pizza just in case you guys get hungry. Awesome! My mom never orders out. Sounds like a plan then. Okay. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Do me a favor. Keep the noise down while playing Fortnite. Hmm? Cool? Man, your dad's the coolest. Mm-hmm. And like Mr. Gladwell. Why'd my mom have to pick him of all people? This is seriously a nightmare. And it's only the beginning. If the date with Mr. Gladwell goes well, he'll become your stepdaddy. Ew! Don't even talk like that. That's not gonna happen. Yeah? Especially because I have a plan. Which is? They're meeting at Giuliani's, right? Mm-hmm. We can walk there from here. And instead of Mr. Gladwell ruining my life, we're gonna ruin his date. No. We'll get in trouble. My dad will find out. My grandma will... Pepperoni. We'll sleep, probably. He said it'll be a while. We'll be back before the pizza gets here. And what are we gonna do if we get there? I have a few ideas. We just gotta pick up my backpack. Fine, I'll go. Hey, stop with, mm, okay? No more eyebrows, it's weird. It's my signature. Don't say that again, it's it, not. It's my signature. It's not. Yes, it is. There they are. Can I help you? Hi. I'm Hunter. That's Jackson, my friend. And can we have a table? Of course. Will your parents be joining you this evening? No parents. We're not dead, don't worry. Very well, sir. For how many? Two, but um, is it okay if we seat ourselves? I'm very particular about where I sit. Of course. Go ahead and have a seat at any open table and your waiter will be with you two gentlemen shortly. Thank you. I, I just, it's such a cool decor, I, I love it. Yeah. Gracias. I think I'm in love. Think I can get her number after this? Dude, you don't even have a phone. The girls in middle school won't even talk to you, so please focus. Okay, okay. Bonjour. Are you ready to order? I would love to start with the house salad, and then I'll have the chicken milanese, and I'll have a glass of Merlot. Oh, that doesn't have paprika in it, does it? I'm allergic. No. Eh, parlez, monsieur? Um, I'm going to start off with the bisque, and then I'll have the ribeye medium rare, and I'll also have a glass of Merlot. Parfait. I'll be right back. I thought this was an Italian restaurant. So did I. <laughs> What the heck's a bisque? I was hoping you'd know. Gentlemen, uh, is there something I can get you to get you started? Um, do you mind telling us what a bisque is? It's a crab bisque. Um, yeah, we're gonna need a little more than that. Soup. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um... Is that what you'd like? Actually... I... I don't think we're quite ready yet. Do you mind just bringing over to Shirley Temples? And, um, can you tell me where the restroom is? Uh, yes, it's, uh, down the way, across from the kitchen. You can't miss it. Okay, thank you. It's game time. Come on. few drops of this, and Mr. Gravel will be begging for mercy. He'll be running with crying. Great creating diversion. Hello. Hi, uh, is something wrong with your table? No, uh, table's good. I was just looking for you.
couldn't help but notice this magnetic chemistry between us. I'm sorry. I know it's cliche, you know? Young stud, older girl, but you and I can really be something. to get. You know how women are. Yeah. Here we go. So what was I talking about? You were telling me the qualities that you're looking for. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. So, when I really... All right, I have the bisque pour le monsieur and the Caesar salad pour le madame. Is there anything else I can get you, too? Wait, I, I didn't order the Caesar salad. I ordered the house salad. I ordered the Caesar salad and she ordered the bisque. Désolé, I must have uh, mixed this up. I'll be right back with your correct order. Here you go. <laughs> are, are you okay? <clears throat> no. Oh, my mouth is on fire. This is way too spicy. What in the world was put in here? <laughs> oh, good thing you didn't eat that. Yeah, you're telling me. I can't handle spice at all. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. We gotta take this to the next level. Paprika? Didn't your mom say she was allergic? No. The throat won't close up or anything. Her face will just swell up. Then she'll have to leave. Come on, bro, just stay quiet and don't get seen. Hey, Ashley, you wanna have a drink with me? How'd you get back here? Oh, this isn't the bathroom. My bad. The waiter's accent is a little hard to understand. Oh. All right, this has to work. It looks lovely. After you. Oh, as I was saying, it was hard getting back out there after Jackson's dad left. Yeah, I can only imagine. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but after all this time, I feel ready. Anybody be lucky to have you. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Is everything okay? I, I, I feel funny. <clears throat> Could you flag down the, the waiter? I think there's paprika in this. <clears throat> yes, is uh, something wrong? Is there paprika in the chicken? N no, it is not one of the ingredients of chicken milanese. Are you sure? Because she seems to, oh my. Désolé, let me go see what happened with the kitchen. Allison, you're a little swollen. What? Oof. Should we go to the hospital? Yes, now she has to leave. No, no, no need to be alarmed. I keep Benadryl with me because this happens all the time. Okay, all right. Yeah. <sighs> Should have taken that out of her purse. Maybe it was meant to be. You know, your mom and Mr. Gladwell, adorable. Yeah, right. <sighs> it's time for the last resort. And what's that? 
what we've been training for our whole lives. I'm gonna spill wine all over Mr. Gladwell. You suck at aiming. Don't miss. We are so sorry. Uh, we don't know how uh, this happened, but uh, we'll be bringing out a new plate for you and we are going to take care of your whole meal today. Don't worry, it happens. I'm just feeling embarrassed. No, don't be. If anything, it shows how great you are under pressure. Oh, my! Oh. oh! I am so sorry. I don't even know how that happened. Let me just get some... No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Really. This dinner just isn't going the way it was planned. Yeah, I know. It's uh, full of surprises. I should never even pick this place. Sorry. Do you mind if we just call it? I'm feeling a bit embarrassed here like this. Of course. Yeah. Okay. What is this? I have no idea. Jackson? Hey, Mom. What in the world are you and Hunter doing here? We were hungry. That's not funny. Did you have something to do with this? Don't lie to me. Hunter, tell me what's going on. We wanted to ruin your date with Mr. Gladwell. I'm sorry, what? Wait, you think that this is a date? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Mr. Gladwell is looking for someone to do web design work. This is an interview. What? Really? Yes. Now that it's just the two of us, I wanted to go back into the job market, get some freelance work. That's all. Oh, I see. Were you behind the paprika, too? In the hot sauce. <laughs> Classic. I'm sorry. I just didn't want anyone to get between us. I thought you felt that I wasn't enough. Baby, you are my entire world. And any man that comes into our life will know that, okay? Good. Even though I'm not dating Mr. Gladwell, I am dating. What was that? Hunter's dad. What? Hmm. There you two are. I can't believe you two snuck out. I had a feeling you two would be here. We were gonna tell you guys tonight over mac and cheese. Hold on, you guys are serious right now. Like, you're dating? Seriously. You know what this means, right? Yeah. We can, we can be, be brothers! brothers! I'm glad you're happy about it. But don't think you're not in trouble for ruining my meeting with Mr. Gladwell and creating this mess. I'm so sorry. I hope that you can accept my apology. I do accept your apology. If you accept the job. Really? Yes. You're more than qualified. And if you can handle the shenanigans of these two rascals, I'm pretty sure you can handle anything that comes your way. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. How was it? It was great. Yeah, yeah. first yeah. to do. <laughs> hey, Dad. Huh? Can I get your phone? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, for what? Thanks. Hey, babe. Can I get damn digits? Maybe in 10 years. I'll leave it here. You go ahead. Has anyone seen Miss Flores? She's never late. I haven't seen her. Tasha, do you need some help? My zipper's stuck. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Maybe if we make it slippery? Is there soap here? Mm, no. <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea. Now 
Okay. Whoa, thanks. How do you know how to do that? You know, Miss Flores always says, sometimes you just need to use your imagination. No way, it's Mickey and Minnie Mouse. <gasps> Hi, kids. I'm Mickey. And I'm Minnie. And we can't wait for you to visit our home in Disney World next week. Yeah! supposed to use your imagination, remember? <sighs> okay. Thank you so much for helping us out, Miss It Harris. is my pleasure. You kids have a good day now. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye. Okay. Who is excited to go to Disney World? Me! Okay, then let's take out our permission slips and our checks so I can collect them. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Thank you, Elena. Excellent. And where is your check? You don't have it? How about you, Joey? Do you have your check? Does no one have their checks? OK. Here they are. Yeah. Why not? Hey! Sweetheart, how are you, baby? I'm good. Ready to get going? Yes. Excellent. Hey. Excuse me. Hi. Sorry. I was wondering if maybe you guys had a, a moment to chat. Sure. Uh, hey, Tasha, why don't you and Joey and Alina go and wait in the car, okay? Okay. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Boop. Boop. Uh, is everything okay, Miss Flores? Oh, um, yeah. I was just um, thinking maybe you guys might want to have a chat about Disney World. Because it's about a week away and no one has given me a check yet. Um, unfortunately, I just can't afford it. Especially after losing my job, we can barely keep the lights on right now. And I put all our savings into fixing our car. In fact, we've been having to take the bus everywhere while the car is getting fixed. Yeah, and Tasha's grandmother isn't doing so well, and so we moved her in with us. Yeah, so between taking care of somebody else and paying their medical bills, it's just not doable for us to send Tasha to Orlando. Oh, I had, I had no idea you guys were going through so much. Well, we feel terrible. Tasha was so excited to go on her first plane ride. I mean, that's all she was talking about. Joey, too. He's never even been out of the state. Elaine has never been out of Pittsburgh before, and it just breaks my heart having to tell her that she cannot go. OK, well, let's not lose hope just yet. How about you guys give me a minute to talk to the principal and see if we can find some way to work this out? Oh, thank you so much, Miss Flores. You're a wonderful teacher, and you've done so much for our kids. Um, OK, fingers crossed. <laughs> It's really important that these kids go. For some of them, it might be their only opportunity to have an experience like this. And the parents aren't able to pay? No, I already talked to them. They can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything the school board could do? I know, I know. It's just that they've been looking forward to this since the beginning of the year. We've never had a class not go. Trust me, I hear you, but you know how the budget situation is. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I gotta get back in there. Thanks. Does this mean we're not going? Oh, uh, no. No, I, I, I'm gonna find a way for us to get there. 
one way or another. But what are we going to do? Our parents can't pay for it, and the school won't give us any money. Well, Joey, what do I always say? Sometimes we're just going to have to use our imagination. But what's that going to do? Our imagination isn't going to magically fly us to Disney World. What if we do a raffle? We could sell tickets, and people can win prizes. But how are we going to buy the prizes to raffle? And who's going to buy the tickets? What about an auction? It's the same problem. Or we could do something for Valentine's Day. I mean, it's coming up. You know what, Elena? That's a really good idea. I think I know exactly what we're going to do. Who wants to help me out this weekend? Me! Me! me, me. me. Okay, okay, okay. everything went well this weekend. Oh, it went way more than well. I actually have enough left over to buy the kids some school supplies. I'm not surprised. You all worked so hard selling those flowers. Oh, well, I'm at the bullseye, so I'm gonna let you go. But I'll see you at school tomorrow. The kids are gonna be so excited when I hand them those little Southwest plane tickets. Oh, yes, they will be. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. We made you some flowers, and we made you this card as a thank you for everything you do for us. Yeah, you're the best teacher ever. Oh, gosh. This is so sweet, which is going to make what I'm about to say so much harder. But first, I want to start by saying how absolutely proud I am of each and every one of you. You're all rock stars. But unfortunately, um. What's wrong, Miss Flores? Um, the money. The money's gone. What? what? How? How? What? How happened? Uh, somebody broke into my car and stole the cash box yesterday after we were done selling the flowers. I'm really sorry. I should have been more careful. I don't deserve this. I'm the worst teacher ever, and I really let you guys down. No, you didn't, Miss Flutter. We still love you. <laughs> it's okay. You tried your best, and we didn't mean to lose the money. Mm -hmm. Please don't be sad, Miss Flores. I'm so sorry, kids. You gotta stop beating up on yourself about this, hon. How could I not? It's all my fault. Hush. You did more for those kids than most teachers would have done. It's all for nothing now. <laughs> That's not true. You showed those kids that you care, and that goes a long way. Yeah. Well, I can't buy tickets with caring. All I had to do was not leave the cash box in the car. I would give my last dollar so those kids could go to Disney. All I have left is the $300 that I put aside for the school supplies. I was this close to buying the Southwest airline tickets and booking the flights. Everything was planned. This is going to be the first class to not go to Disney, and it's all my fault. <sighs> 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 
well, if we can't take them to Disney, we can bring Disney to them. And I don't know what you mean. It's like you always say, sometimes you have to use just a little imagination. <sighs> If I'm telling the truth, what am I to sail away? Cause I don't know where you've been lately And times have changed, the world's gone crazy Yeah, I got a secret, I hope you can keep it You know that I mean this I will lay my heart on the line for you For you Good morning, everyone. I'm Captain Harris. Your flight with service to Orlando, Florida will be boarding shortly. Gather your belongings and head to your assigned gate. Wait, I don't get it. Yeah, I thought we aren't going to Disney anymore. You won't be if you miss your flight. Oh, you'll need these to get on the plane. Here, come. That's where you'll Whoa. be boarding. These are so cool. Wait, so are we supposed to go to room 304? Gate 304. That's where you'll be boarding. Now, don't dilly-dally. You don't want your captain to take off without you. Here you go. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Miss Flores, what's going on? There's no time for explanation. Your flight is boarding. Boarding pass, please. Elena? Yes, ma'am, that's you. Bloop. Enjoy your flight. Thanks. Boarding pass, please. Mr. Joey? Yes, that's you. Bloop. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. Miss Tasha? <gasps> Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Here you go. Ethan. Thank you for flying with us again, Mr. Ethan. Bloop. Enjoy your flight. All right, bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We have reached our cruising altitude of 36,000 feet. Wow. Our cabin crew will begin their in-flight service. Complimentary snacks and beverages are available for your enjoyment. Wow, we're so high up. I know, this is crazy. I can see Australia from here. Wow. <gasps> wow. Oh Gosh, look at the castle. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Welcome to Disney World, the happiest place on Earth. Uh, may I see your tickets, please? Uh, we don't have tickets. Are you sure about that? Did you check your luggage? Disney World tickets! All right, let me scan these tickets and you can enter. Amazing, you are in. Enjoy your time at Disney. Have fun on Space Mountain. Perfect. Joy, you're in. Mm -hmm. Have a Look blast. Down high. Yeah, Have that's fun. Enjoy. Enjoy. Here we go. Have fun Thank on Thunder Mountain so. Railroad. Oh no, this is a big
My favorite part was the fireworks. I like the roller coaster. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are having so much fun. Miss Flores, do you think we could see the castle? Oh, uh, I think Cinderella Castle's closed today. What? But I thought the castle's never closed. Uh, how about we do the Nemo submarine? Or it's a small world. I want to go on the Haunted Mansion. Can we please? Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but I think we'd have to go to Rio Disney World to do all of that. I tried my best, but I know it's not the same. Why would you guys say anything? Now you made her feel bad. I'm sorry, Miss Flores. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. No. No, I'm the one that's sorry. I wish that I could do more for each and every one of you. I mean, it really is my fault that we didn't get to go in the first place. No, no. This is more than enough. Right, guys? Yeah! <laughs> OK. What the Walt Disney World thrill feel like? Please stand clear of the welcome, foolish mother. Manténganse. I have a huge surprise for you. Really? Yeah. You did it. For the kids know? Oh. Not yet. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much. I still can't believe Southwest Airlines reached out. Well, everyone was really moved by that video. <laughs> <laughs> you did a remarkable job with those kids. Oh, we did. It was a group effort. Hey, I can't see Australia from here. I see it, right there. Where? I don't see it. Come on, guys. Sometimes you just have to use your imagination. 